Hello. So I wanted to show you exactly where to go when you are setting up your um, virtual assistant one account um, so that we can get the funnels, the landing pages and calendars and everything set up for you for your automation um, as well as um, getting the word out for you, right? So we want to get those set up um, and get the resources that you need in place. So the first thing you would do is go to app virtualassistant1.com. So if you can see it here, it's app.virtualassistant1.com. And once you get here, you would then enter your email address. So we're going to enter one, right? And this will be your email address. So you'll put your email address there and then you're going to put a password. Um, if you're coming to this account and you're new, understand that I will provide you a password. Once you get your password, you can go inside and change the password. We'll go through that um, shortly. But enter the, your email address, which will be the email address that you provided me and then enter your password that I provided you, okay? Um, so you should be able to um, enter in, and I sent that to you in your email. So please check your email. It may have went to spam. And then you would hit sign in, okay? So go ahead and do those steps for me. All right, so once you enter into that um, into that system, right? So you enter your login, you enter your login, and you put your password that I I provided you, right? So I gave you a password for this system. It should pull up exactly what you're seeing on the screen. If you're on the phone, it should look a little bit different. You won't have as many options, but um, you will be able to see this exact same screen, okay? Um, it will look like this. Your numbers may not be um, as this is because once again, this is a, um, a dummy account right now, okay? So uh, you can see, you will be able to see your opportunities, your pipeline value, right? So if um, there is a product that you have that has value to it that we're offering out, right? If you're offering a free course or some type of course and it's coming in at a certain amount, then you want to track that. How much are you, um, how much is your, pipeline value that right so how much are these um contacts worth right you want to see that that's something that you definitely want to see when you're looking in, into your contacts so um this is your dashboard and then when you come in here what i need you to do is go to settings right so we come over to here to the settings and when you get in here what i need you to do is head over to the integrations and the reason you're going to integrations is because we need to connect some things so um, right here it tells you connect your Google account right so you would then attach the account that you want um, your Google calendars and everything to be connected to um, you can connect more than one account but um, I would say stick with one so that way you're knowing where all your um, leads are coming from as well you're gonna have multiple calendars here so it's no need to have multiple calendars all over that that's gonna cause for too many notifications across the board so just connect your primary um, Google account where you want all your um, leads and courses and everything to connect to and then as well, um, go ahead and connect your Facebook account because you can also start targeting people through Facebook and um, communicating with them here through Facebook as well. So you don't want to lose contact with them um, in any case. And we may create leads um, and funnels that will connect to them as well. So go ahead and connect that for me as well.
And then um, if you want to, you can connect your QuickBooks account if you have a QuickBooks account. Um, that way you can track all of your um, needs. As I told you the other day, you will need a Stripe account because that will create the um, course that you need um, later on going through this um, this system, right? So you'll you'll be able to use um, courses and everything of that nature, but for them to purchase it and do all of that, you would need a Stripe account. So you want to go ahead and connect those accounts um, and get them in into order and then once you have those connected um, we can finish setting up the calendars because we have the calendars here but um, we don't have anywhere for you to see the calendar right so um, I can put the calendar out but it's not going to link to any of your calendars because it's, it we're not linked up just yet so um if you could go in and connect those for me that would be amazing right so um you would need to come in here go to settings go to integrations and then um connect those accounts right so um the primary one is the Google account because we need to um, set up the calendar so that will get that into play and if you have any questions please let me know and then we can go through them thank you